As you know, recognizing students for appropriate and pro-social behavior is a core feature of school-wide PBIS. Praise provides recognition when a student demonstrates behavior that meets agreed upon expectations or rules. Acknowledgements are vital for two key reasons. First, they help us build connections with students. Similar to the strategies discussed in our last video, providing praise and acknowledgement to students helps us build safe, consistent, and supportive relationships. Secondly, acknowledgements encourage and strengthen pro-social and desired behaviors. When you notice and praise a student's behavior, they are more likely to engage in that behavior again in the future. Today we will show you three potential strategies to offer praise in the classroom. Strategy one, behavior-specific praise. Behavior-specific praise includes an approval statement like nice or thank you. It also provides the student with detail about the behavior that is praiseworthy. An example may be, Jonathan, thank you so much for putting away your math workbook so quickly. So here's a panther paw token for showing so much responsibility. For acknowledgements to be truly meaningful, they should be linked to a specific behavior. Specific praise has three components, which can be executed in any order. It is important to identify who is being praised and to make sure you have their attention. Give a genuine and positive approval statement and be clear about what specific behavior is being praised. Strategy two, reminders to praise. Research shows that it's best to praise much more than you deliver corrections. In fact, the recommendation is to praise four times for every one correction you make, as corrections often carry more weight than positive statements. If you balance out corrections with a lot of positives, you can build and maintain positive student relationships and a safe and supportive classroom environment. It can be challenging to remember to praise more often than correcting so teachers should develop a method for reminding themselves to provide specific praise. Angel, thank you so much for putting your workbooks away so quickly and for showing responsibility. One idea is to set a specific number of praise statements you want to deliver per class period per day, keeping in mind that each student should receive one roughly every other day. Each time you make a specific praise statement, move one paper clip to another jar. By the end of the allotted time, all of your paper clips should have been moved. Strategy three, sticky notes. You may be wondering when you should be using behavior specific praise. The answer is as much as possible, as long as it is genuine. Try not to get caught in the good job trap where you say the same approval statement over and over. Use words that come naturally to you and try to vary them. Good times to praise are when a student's behavior matches the school-wide expectation, like raising their hand to ask a question. Another is when you see behavior that you'd like to encourage, such as participating in your morning meeting. For students who often struggle with their behavior, it's important to praise when you see small improvements in behavior, even if it's not perfect. Focusing on improvement and effort lets your student know that you notice that they are trying and you appreciate it. Depending on the age and developmental level of your students, some may prefer written notes rather than verbal praise. These notes should include the same three components as verbal specific praise and can be delivered at the same time a verbal statement would be delivered or delayed until later in the day. Choose a frequency and number of written notes to deliver each day and provide praise notes on a student's desk, cubby, or locker. Strategy four, circle time peer praise. One way to help build a safe and supportive community in your classroom is by providing structured times for students to positively recognize each other for engaging in desired behaviors. During community meetings, morning meeting, circle time, or other times of the day, create opportunities for students to praise each other. This can be an add-on to the check-in circles that were featured in the Building Relationships video. Students should be instructed to address another student by name, provide specific praise for a positive behavior or interaction they noticed involving the name student, and explain why they felt it was noteworthy. Lily, thank you for helping me with my books today. 
I was struggling and it helped. If a pre-structured time does not currently exist, consider creating a time once a week for this kind of praise delivery to happen. If time is too tight to do this in a meeting setting, consider creating a shout out board where students can post praise for each other following the same format. These are just some examples of strategies you could use to recognize students for appropriate and pro-social behavior, encourage that behavior in the future, and help build safe, consistent, supportive relationships with students. In every classroom, however, there may be students who appear to be indifferent to praise, who may become agitated by praise, or even seem to prefer or even provoke corrections or discipline over praise. A child's response to praise is often related to his or her early experiences with adults. If a child has limited experience with positive attention or has experienced inconsistent, erratic, or even harsh caregiver responses, praise may feel confusing or even scary at times. When this occurs, remember that the worst time to try to solve a predictable problem is when it is happening. Instead, try the following steps. First, engage the student outside of the problem activity, not right after the problem occurred. Take a curious, non-judgmental stance. Try saying something like, I noticed this morning when I complimented you on being responsible for putting your books away, you stopped putting them away and then you threw them on the floor. I'm not upset, but I just want to understand what's going on. Then open up space for the student to share their experiences, their needs and their wants. You can try to help the student name what might be happening and let them react to that. Say something like, Some people don't like attention even when it's positive, and that's perfectly okay. Is that what happened this morning? If the student does not like to be recognized publicly, see if they will agree to a more private way for you to praise them. For example, ask if it would be okay for you to write them a little note instead. Praise is a great way to build relationships with students and to encourage behaviors you want to see more of. When giving specific praise, remember to identify who the recipient is, what they did to earn praise, and why it was praiseworthy. Offer genuine praise as often as you can, much more often than corrections, and adopt a strategy to remind yourself to do so. Recognize that some students will respond better to private recognition and employ a strategy to offer praise in a less public manner. Encourage students to recognize each other in a structured way during circle time or other group settings. And recognize that students from different backgrounds will respond to praise in different ways and offer them the space to share their feelings, needs, and wants. The strategies discussed here are meant to give you ideas and inspiration for delivering praise. The most important thing to take away from this video is not the strategies themselves, but the idea that you should be giving behavior-specific praise as much as possible, and that you might need to create a way to remind yourself to do it. Doing so will create a trauma-informed and PBIS-aligned way to create a safe space in your classroom for all of your students.